Big story tonight. The U.S. and Iran appear to be backing away from the brink. But the tensions between the two countries remain high. Iran appears to be standing down, which is a good thing for all parties concerned and a very good thing for the world. President Trump says no Americans were hurt when Iran launched missiles at two U.S. bases in Iraq last night. It was a response to the U.S. drone strike that killed a top Iranian commander. The president says our next step will be more sanctions against Iran. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel is live at U of M in Ann Arbor tonight where there's a rally going on right now with organizers calling for more than a de-escalation of the conflict. Brian? Yeah, that's right, Carolyn. Dave, we are here. We are inside the crowd right now, and there's quite a crowd. Uh, very, very, very few people with a different message. You see right there, Soleimani killed my family. Those are some of the quiet protesters here, but more so than anything else, you have folks like these, no war. And yes, this message here tonight is about no war, but it's also about more. It's about no intervention by the U.S. in that region. We are telling the United States, stop militarization in the Middle East. Persian and Arab organizations on the University of Michigan campus calling for peace between America and Iran. A day after Iranian missiles landed in Iraqi coalition bases housing U.S. troops. The lead organizer of the rally on the steps of Angel Hall today providing a personal account of how the increased strikes and counter strikes are affecting many Americans with Iranian roots. My first instinct was to feel like I had to defend myself for my identity as an Iranian. And it, it's really sad for me and for so many other Iranian Americans that the country we love so much is also being demonized so much by our government and the threat of violence and, and the safety of my family and so many others is obviously at the top of my mind. With a request for greater NATO involvement, the threat of a strong military and this. The United States will immediately impose additional punishing economic sanctions. Gerges and others not confident today's address by the president truly means the conflict is simmering down. I'm very happy that the United States is backing off from head on war. At least that's what it sounds like. But what we have to understand is that this is not by any means a backing off of escalation. And we just heard one speaker talking about how she is heartbroken by what she is seeing between America and Iran right now. And the organizer tells me that it's events like this, it's rallies like this that are happening across the country that they believe will help leaders decide here in America what to do next. For now, reporting live, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. All right, Brian, thank you for the update there.